Hey, it's Jag. I think I need to reestablish the arm carve. If you've been watching my channel, you'll know that this is the second top I've put on this guitar and that I had already done an arm carve and an access carve and uh, those are still uh, underneath here on, on the uh, back part of the body, the, the ash, the main part of the body. If you haven't been watching my channel, now you know. Um, so today what I'm going to do is uh, redo the arm carve and this access carve up here. So you might think it's a little strange what I'm going to do if uh, if you haven't been watching or you don't know that there's already a carve here but what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, uh, mark uh, roughly where uh, the original arm carve uh, starts in the body uh, on the ash underneath and then I'm going to uh, draw a straight line from, from these two points, uh, so getting the arm carve here, and I'm going to actually chop off this piece rather than have to do a whole bunch of rasping and sanding. Uh, once that's off, I can rasp the arm carve and, and finalize it, and then we'll get on to the, uh, the access cutaway. All right, well, there we go. I've got that, uh, that bit uh, cut off and we're ready now to uh, reshape uh, the arm carve. Uh, so that's what it's looking like right now. Uh, we'll get the rasps out and start working on that. That's the uh, arm carve uh, re-established. Um, that's as much of the aggressive uh, rasping I'm going to do. I've removed all the material I need to remove. Uh, now I'm just going to uh, get some 80 grit on the palm sander and start smoothing this out a bit. And then I will start working on that access carve. Alright, well that's feeling pretty good to me. Uh, my other camera quit in the middle of that, so I don't know how much of that sanding I actually got, but I'm very happy with this arm, arm carve. Um, I still do have to do the round over around the top. Originally I had done, uh, I think, a 5 8 round over uh, on this. Um, I may just uh, do a sandpaper round over. I kind of like having the crisp edges on the top. 
Um, but I do still need to do the round over all the way around, and I was waiting till I got the arm carved done so I could blend it in uh, here as well, and I, of course, need to round over on the arm carve itself. Uh, but that's feeling really good. I think we're pretty close to done with that. Uh, probably just need to do a little bit of, uh, uh, maybe a little bit of cleanup sanding. I'm uh, right now debating this belly carve is not quite as deep as I thought it was. Uh, I might might do a little more on that, but we'll see what happens. But this, this arm carve is feeling perfect. So I'm going to get set up and uh, work on this uh, upper access carve next. carve and arm carve are all re-established. Uh, I'm really happy with both of them. Uh, they both feel a lot better than they did the first time I did it. So that's basically the final carving for those. I just have to do uh, the fine sanding and whatnot, which I need to do around the whole body. So right now what I'm going to do is uh, work on uh, doing that round over. I think I'll use a round over bit in my um, my palm router to get the bottom part of the guitar here up to uh, where the arm carve is and also around the top here up to where the arm carve is. I don't know how well uh, a uh, round over bit would go around this arm carve and definitely I don't want to uh, try it up here at the top where the neck attaches. That's a pretty delicate spot there so there will be some hand uh, hand shaping here as well. Well I've decided to go with a 3 16 uh, inch round over uh, on this and my 3 16 inch round over bit it has a half inch shank so I can't do it in the palm router and I don't want to use the big router to do that so I set up the router table uh, with the uh, 3 16 inch round over and I'm just going to uh, as I said before do a round over of the the top boat down to where the arm carve is and the bottom boat uh, uh, to where the arm carve is and then I will manually hand round over uh, all the rest of this. routing of the round over done. Uh, it went quite well. I'm just going to spend a little bit of time with some uh, uh, 80 grit, maybe 60 grit, uh, and uh, get these round overs worked in all the way around, get this whole guitar so it's ready for uh, final sanding basically. And I think I'll call, uh, call it quits uh, for today after that. <laughs> Well, 
another good day's uh, worth of work. Uh, really happy with what uh, what I got done today. Uh, I got the arm carb re-established. I got the uh, upper access carb re-established and did the roundover um, all the way around the top of the guitar. The roundover on the back, of course, was already done. Uh, but it's feeling really comfortable. Uh, I'm really liking the feel. I especially like the way the arm carve has come out compared to last time. I, I thought it was a little too shallow last time, so I was able to take um, quite a bit more down, and I really like the feel of it. I'm still debating on whether to uh, dish in the belly carve uh, just a little bit here. Um, I'll think on that for a while. I'm also um, thinking of taking these ferrules out and getting just some regular gold ferrules to put in. I'm really not too happy with the way those are looking. So uh, th that's uh, a couple of things that I might or might not do in the next video. Uh, but I think basically this body is ready for final sanding and, uh, and then finish. There's the, uh, the arm carve. Uh, you can see it looks quite nice. As I say, I think I might take this belly carve a little bit, uh, a little bit thinner right in here. Uh, but debating on that, there's the upper access carve. Uh, there, you can get a really good shot at it. And the roundovers are, are all really good. The guitar is feeling really comfortable, so I'm really happy about that. As I say, I think I'm close to finish sanding and maybe even doing finish on this guitar. I still have to make the... Um, uh, the cover plates for the control cavities and when we're talking about things I'm not happy about I'm not really too happy with the way I've done these. They'll look fine with covers on so I'm thinking of just leaving them as they are but I'm also debating on whether I maybe want to uh, uh, actually take this round and uh, get rid of these little uh, these little bumps uh, here that I put for screws and just elongate this a bit. So I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, I gotta gotta do some thinking on control cavities. I also still need to redrill the uh, ground hole for the bridge. But overall, uh, I'm really happy with with how this is turning out. Uh, I'm really glad I stuck with it. Uh, after all of the disasters and all the other things, uh, because I think this is going to be a really great guitar uh, when it's done. I really like the way the uh, the grain of the ash uh, shows through here, especially with this little uh, rounding bit here, and just how it kind of, uh, not only in terms of color, light and dark, uh, has a contrast, but also the way the grain uh, contrasts. Once finish is on there, that will be even more pronounced, and I think that's going to be really cool. I also think it's going to look really, really good up here. Uh, so I'm really happy with the way this is turning out. So, uh, like always, uh, thanks for, for being here. Thanks for sticking with me. Uh, please like and subscribe, share the video, uh, check out my band One Soul Thrust. The links, as always, are below. And until the next video, we'll see you.